thing that inspired me to go into space or this industry was back in Chatfield High School, there was a project that me and a few of our friends and a teacher had put together called the Green Machine Project. And it was renewable energy in space and we were selected by, by NASA to actually build it and put it together. We were able to launch to the ISS. It was completely successful. It was a really, really humbling experience at the same time, but it was really awe-inspiring enough that most of the people within the project pursued careers in space because it was it was just something you know that we, we had a passion for going to school every single day to do. One of the biggest differences in the industry now is what you consider old space versus new space. For new space, companies like Firefly, it is more about a rapid kind of response. And so it's significantly cheaper, but then also reinventing more or less what used to happen into a more cost efficient, rapid program kind of way. And so for example, you know, Apollo mission where you may have cost billions of dollars, now can cost a fraction of the, the cost because Firefly has different manufacturing skills, different engineering skills that it can bring to the table. Obviously it has higher risk, but that fits within what Clips is trying to do as a whole program for NASA, is trying to produce something quicker and then being able to iterate versus trying to come up with that perfect solution that may take 30 years to build. So NASA doesn't necessarily dictate what the technical design is that we do with our mission. They leave that to Firefly so that we can now create a solution for a lander that we can tailor to other customers, to other missions. If we dictate it too much to one particular mission, it doesn't become as reusable as we may have hoped. It allows us the flexibility to do what we want so that everyone's successful. I'm Tyler Gilchrist and we're landing on the moon.